Hi guys, my name is Bernie Breen and I'm with Turbaro. We're here at Oshkosh 2022 and we're introducing our TA 200 TP, which is a 200 horsepower turboprop engine in which we incorporate recuperator technology, which is a heat exchanger. So what we're doing that's different from any other turboprop is introducing an engine that will be much more fuel efficient than typical turboprops would be. And that's done through a heat exchange unit inside of our engine in which we pass inlet air over, intermingle that with hot air that's from the exhaust and raise the temperature without having to do it with fuel. So at the end of the day, we have an engine, and I'll give you an example. This is a 200 horsepower, as I mentioned. It's a flat rated, derated engine, which simply means that on the runway, at standard ISO temperatures, standard atmospheric temperatures, we have 200 horsepower. When we climb up to 8,000 feet, we still have 200 horsepower. Where a piston engine might lose approximately 25% of its power. So a huge difference on the performance side. And in order to make it affordable on both the front end and back end, meaning the operational cost, that we have targeted uh, our goals from the beginning have been to sell the engine for the same price as a piston engine and then to have a fuel burn that is the same as a piston engine. Those are very lofty goals. And we haven't achieved them 100% and probably won't, but we continue with those goals on a go-forward basis. So I'll give you an example. If we got in, in, in this RV7A, we'll talk about our project in a minute, and took off and went up to 8,000 feet, again, we still have 200 horsepower. Let's go ahead up to 10,000. We still have 182 horsepower left, but let's, let's run it at 180 continuous. And let's say we're more, more concerned with fuel consumption than we are with speed. We could power back to 150 horsepower and get 12.7 gallon hour fuel burn, which is in the neighborhood of a piston engine. The benefit would be the piston engine can't even produce that same 150 horsepower, so we're going faster. So you can say it's about the same cost per mile on the fuel burn. On the front end, we're looking at, we think our introductory price will be about approximately $85,000, but that is dependent on us getting this on the test stand, finding out what we're going to find out, any redesign, that sort of thing could affect that price, but we do believe that's where we're going to land. As you can see, We've mounted our model engine, this is our metal model engine, to an RV7A. And we are going to be producing a series of videos. And the title of the series will be Build an RV7T, the T being turbine, with me. And we're going to document all of this. And what we did is go out and sourced an in progress build from a builder in Tennessee, took it to our location in Lebanon, Tennessee, where we created or had created a firewall forward package for this would exactly be what you would use an RV7A. If you went over to Vans and bought a 7A kit today and said, well, I, I want a firewall forward package, or where do, how do I now put this on my engine? We just created that in the last 45 days for this show. Now, we're not in the business of creating firewall forward packages. There are plenty of, of builders, build assist shops, and so forth, that will be doing that. Third parties that are hounding us now about exclusivity on certain models and that sort of thing. So there'll be plenty of that out there. Now, the 7A, as you can see, is about, it, and it's, we'll call it a 75% built phase. We didn't even own this four months ago. So we've just sourced it, purchased it, created the firewall forward package, brought it to Oshkosh so that people from vans that are interested in those airplanes can see what it would look like on their airplane. On the finishing the airplane answer, we're going to be limited more by our technical 
development phase of it than we are with the bill. We can finish the bill very quickly with the stage that it's in currently. But we're figuring it's going to be about a year project because of that's about how long it's going to take for us to get the engine to the point that we can put, up, put it on an air airframe and fly it. However, before that, first quarter of next year, we, we expect to have this on the test stand, the engine. So once we've run it, we're confident enough in it, it'll be on the airplane. This will be our test bed as well as our future demonstrator. We're over in the home built section of the Oshkosh show. Please come over, ask for me, Bernie, or any of our people. We'd be happy to talk to you, answer all your questions, and invite you to follow us as we go forward.